Welcome to this episode, let's jump in to learn more about business opportunities. Mom, I was thinking I could market to the supermarkets around by giving free samples. A lot of supermarkets will buy it when they find out how good it tastes. You are right Kate. The next day, Kate and her mom go to the first supermarket to give them samples and market to them. Hello. Good day sir. Hello. My daughter is here to show you samples of her chocolate chip cookies. I am sure you will like it sir, it is so yummy. Wow, these cookies are so delicious, did she really make them? Yes, she did, all by herself. I get this question a lot. Wow, that is brilliant of you Kate. Thank you sir, I really appreciate it. Your cookies are nice, but I will advise you to improve more on the packaging, so it can attract more customers. Alright, thank you for the feedback. We will work on it. Bye sir. Bye, I hope to see you back soon. On the ride back home, Kate is sad about the rejection. Her mom notices her mood. Kate, why are you sad? I was really hoping the supermarket will buy in. How will I achieve my set goal now? Do you recall what I told you to do when things don't go as planned? Yes, you told me to learn from the experience and try again. Exactly. So now, we need to work on the packaging and try again. Okay, mom. Kate and her mom work on her packaging and go back to the supermarket again. Hello. Good day, sir. Welcome. I have been expecting you. I have improved on the packaging like you suggested. Wow, this is beautiful, Kate. I am sure we will be sold out in no time. I will take 50 pieces. Oh, that is very generous of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll make sure you get them weekly. They leave and head to other supermarkets around. At the end of the day, they had secured four supermarkets and are committed to delivering 200 packs of cookies weekly. We have come to the end of this insightful episode. Next we will be learning about innovation and collaboration. Let's jump right in.